Tonight, a four-star general who was once the second highest ranking officer in the entire U.S. military pleaded guilty in a case involving a leak of top secrets. David Martin has that. General James Cartwright, now retired but once known as President Obama's favorite general, pled guilty to a crime which could send him to prison. Responding to questions from a federal judge, Cartwright, who served as vice chairman of the Joint Chiefs, admitted he lied to FBI agents investigating leaks of classified information to two journalists, David Sanger of the New York Times and Daniel Claydman, at the time a correspondent for Newsweek. Sanger is the reporter who revealed the so-called Stuxnet cyber attacks conducted against Iran's nuclear program. U.S. and Israeli intelligence secretly hacked into the computers which ran the centrifuges Iran used to enrich uranium, causing them to spin out of control. Cartwright admitted to providing information classified top secret to both Sanger and Claydman, and then lying about it to FBI agents. In a statement, he said, it was wrong for me to mislead the FBI. His attorney said Cartwright was just trying to talk the reporters out of publishing sensitive secrets they already had. The crime carries a sentence of up to five years in prison, but Cartwright's attorney said the government has already agreed to recommend a sentence of six months. Scott? David Martin at the Pentagon tonight. David, thank you.